All right, we're moving on now from this story to a report coming in about the Aam Aadmi Party right here in the capital. You remember that the Aam Aadmi Party had a few months ago uh, tried to introduce a new liquor policy after much controversy. It then rescinded that liquor policy. The controversy that we're talking about was accusations coming in from the Aam Aadmi Party that the liquor policy itself was involved and centered around corruption by Aam Aadmi Party leaders. Those were allegations that were made by the BJP. Very quickly, we want to show you what uh, Shahzad Poonewala, who's made these accusations, he's a spokesperson of the BJP, what he had to say. Then we'll carry on. Once again, Aap's Paap has been revealed that this was not Sharab Niti, but it was their Kharab Niti. Many proofs have emerged already on which the Aam Aadmi Party government is extremely quiet. The proofs have also come in the form of sting operations and other investigative material. But now an RTI reveals that the new liquor policy of Arvind Kejriwal, which was eventually scrapped, caused a loss to the Delhi Exchequer and Delhi government of at least 2,000 to 2,300 crores. Why was the commission of the mafia increased from 2.5% to 12%? Okay, let's go over to my colleague uh, Akash to get more details about this entire story. Akash, are you able to hear me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, Akash, I want to ask you here, uh, for our audiences, the BJP has made similar accusations all the way back since August. This is not the first time they're making this kind of accusation. At this point, we just played out for our audiences what Shahzad Poonewala had to say, where he said an RTI revealed that these losses had taken place. For our audiences, A, what does the RTI actually reveal? Could you tell us that? And B, how is the Aam Aadmi Party defending it? What numbers have they put forth in the last few months? Uh, so, Toya, first of all, we haven't got any sort of reaction of Aam Aadmi Party on this case. But definitely, BJP has hit out at Aam Aadmi Party saying that the policy, the new excise policy that is also under investigation by the CBI and ED, and uh, the policy was implemented back in November 2021 and was rolled uh, rolled back in August 2022. Now, the Shahzad Punawala of BJP, the spokesperson of BJP, is saying that this new excise policy was actually uh, bringing loss to the exchequer of Delhi. And he is saying that, uh, you know, as far as this RTI is concerned, he is quoting the figures in the RTI, and he is saying that uh, during the period of se uh, 17th November 2021 to 31st August 2022, when this new excise policy was enforced, then the total revenue that Delhi government earned was 5,036 crore. And, you know, on an average, Delhi government was earning 17.5 crore per day. But while it is about the old excise policy uh, that has been implemented from September 2022, the average earning of Delhi government on a daily basis is 25.6 crore. So comparing these two figures, Shahzad Kunawala is saying that it means that in new excise policy, Delhi government was facing loss of at least rupees uh, uh, 8 crore per day, which is around 240 uh, crore for a month. So he is saying that on one hand, while Aam Aadmi Party and its, its leaders uh, you know, were involved in the uh, corruption practices, on the other hand, this uh, policy was also bringing a loss to the Delhi's exchequer. And that's the reason why now BJP is attacking Aam Aadmi Party and is asking for the answers of these questions. So, okay, yeah. all right. Akash, thank you for providing those details. For our audiences, we'll try to get a response from the Aam Aadmi 2, Party 2, just to get you some more clarity on what they're going to say to defend themselves. We're going to move on, though. We have some breaking